That can put them in a great spot to make a run at the playoffs. Absolutely, especially since their hardest matches are behind them. They just finished up a three-match streak against London, Seoul, and New York. So, Tough one for sure. Yeah, definitely hard to play those three teams back to back to back. Well, Roshan is dead first. And Philadelphia with a numbers advantage as they head towards the point. Free field zoned out, taken out. And already the trouble starting to mount for Shanghai Dragons on this defense. Snillo backing up, looking for another victim here. May chase after MG. No, he's going to back away. Just let that one go. Why not? MG on the tracer this time, which is a bit interesting to see. But Philadelphia Fusion not phased at all, and they will take a smooth point A. And they don't change their strategy. They want to push begins for Philadelphia. He's got his dragon blade, though, if he can get to the back lines. Might be able to do a bit of damage. And a boost under Roshan now, but he's sniped out of midair by Boombox. Yeah, that's right. Boombox cutting him down. And now the time. Dragon Blade zoning the support zone and killing him. And Philadelphia just takes the point. They have the sound barrier there. The caster curse. However, MG did. does find Fraggy. Yeah, so. That's right. All right, so good start for Shanghai. They got the tank out of the way. Goodbye, Winston. Pushing forward now. Boombox, Team max Shusha, though. They do go ahead and use that self-destruct. Freefield gets Snillo, and there we go. Oh, he went for the fan, the hammer. Wow. I'm surprised he probably could have been able to do it with the headshots, but... but he had oh, a double away. stun with the yeah. flashbang, but the kill's not really following up. Oh. That right. one with EQO closing the distance. Still four members, five members of Shanghai on the point to four from the Philadelphia Fusion trading one for one, but it looks like Philly may have to back off. It's Make good use of it last time. Snillo coming in the back, looking for the big play. There's the stick. Oh, the dead eye. More like the dead McCree. And now Snillo, yeah, man, you get a nano boost for your efforts. Has to try to shoot through a transcendence. That's not even easy. And then he eats a flashback. Oh, the res came in and undead. Got some revenge, but now EQO with some revenge revenge. Comes in with the dragon blade. Five King and Freefield both down. Supports eliminated. And Shanghai can't really keep this push going. No, they can't. They're going to try. Can they keep Roshan alive, though? If he falls, that could be problematic. He and does. he will. It's overtime and try to take it. They're coming in. Roshan a little bit on his own. He's getting low. Taken down by Boombox. Once again, separated from his team. Five King was there, but there's only so much you can do as a Lucy against that focus fire. Goodbye, free feel. And it looks like Philadelphia Fusion will not allow Shanghai near the point again. Map one goes to Philly. Commission. They're going to come in with the transcendence as well. Meanwhile, it's sound barrier for the Philadelphia side. Snillo battling it out on the bridge. Frankie gets the pulse bomb, though, and that's going to be a problem. The flip happens for Shanghai. They get some control percent going. And I don't know if Snillo on his own is going to be enough to change this one back. I think you need to back off a bit. Yeah, they're going to back. Transcendence from the Shanghai side. And Snillo just fighting it out. They've got the sound barrier from Neptuno yet again. Coming around the back. Snillo getting creative here on the free field. Easy kill on the supports there, and that's going to be Philadelphia Fusion taking Gardens. That was a question mine from Snillo. Here comes a rip tire. Fraggy off the edge, but Roshan falls as well. No, oh, dead. the triple. He snuck up there and got it. I feel like we've seen that one before. <laughs> EQO. You can't forget about that McCream. <laughs> He got, I think he got up to the high ground in the edge, but it was just too late. Undead, he knows they're coming with the Graviton, and so he oh. punishes that commitment. Beautiful! It's the oldest trick in the book. Graviton up. Graviton gonna stick them into the side. That's right, there's a double from Shusha. The bigger bang comes through for Shanghai. They needed a big team fight win, and they got it. Coalescence from Boombox couldn't heal the members. But that's not a pulse bomb coming through when Snillo needed it. In fact, he's going to blow himself up. Meanwhile, Shanghai still taking losses here. And it's going to be Philadelphia trying to flip this point back again. But we are at 99 to 99 right now. Pogo getting the kills on the Zarya. Looks like Philadelphia is going to grab it back. Can they grab the win here? They can. And it looks like Shanghai wasn't able to touch the point. Time to go in. That's right, Poco into the cafe. Neptuno and EQO down early, though. They get Five King, they get Freefield, so both supports eliminated for Shanghai Dragons. It's been a brawl, but it looks like Poco and the DPS of Philadelphia might be able to push this one back again. EQO is going to get back to the payload or back to the point in a hurry, and now Roshan on his own, not able to last. Only MG remaining, he's down. 
And Philadelphia Fusion, despite losing a few people on the way in, able to turn the team fight in their favor. And you see they use most of the Moira healing charge to absorb the poke damage when she starts to run low on the heals. That's when, if those shots get missed, will die for free because he doesn't have the healing. Frank uses shield to try to get him out there, but meanwhile, Frank, he gets a pulse bomb stuck to him. Goodbye, Boombox. Shanghai putting together a really strong hold here on point B. Chase still going down. MG trying to get over to EQO. They are going to push him into the corner. Pull back quite a considerable distance. Oh, Roshan not even making it down after the leap. And Freefield comes in with the transcendence. Oh, no. Oh, that doesn't help anybody, man. Well, oh. it helps Fusion, I guess. But it definitely does because they and EQO still with so much pressure on the supports. Oh, Freefield so oh. low. He's going to take MG. Oh. There's a couple. Man, EQO is so scary. Philadelphia nearly has this one. Less than two meters remaining. Once Roshan falls, that might be enough. It is. And Philadelphia Fusion with a pretty quick attack run here. Awesome. And Philadelphia scrambling to hold this point right now. Undead comes in. Oh, a flashbang. And that'll help them finish him off. Frankie gets five king as well. But Shanghai with the numbers advantage. I don't know if Poco and Boombox can handle it. Still so there. And the point is taken by Shanghai. They only Whoa. Got the end. That's a pop -up. He got the stick. Oh, but Undead taken out afterwards. The sound barrier kept him alive for the moment, but Snillo there to finish him. And now Freefield in a little bit of trouble taking damage. Frankie's got the healing from the Transcendence boot box right there. And now onto the payload go the rest of Fusion, trying to win this map and this series. And it looks like with that fight, they have done it. Just five King and Shusha on that point right now. They might be able to hold it until a few respawns get there, but Philadelphia, no, they're the in the doorway. Rage. Free Not Neil. Neil. Oh, he's gonna get Hello. there. I'm here. Oh, everyone's dead. I guess that's the end of the map. Philadelphia Fusion will take Hollywood, and that's a 3-0 for them in the series. Pulse bomb, he's so close right now, has to recall if he can get it. He's got all about oh, the wow, five King. Frankie comes in, and there's a nice pulse bomb onto Roshan. Looks like Philadelphia is going to clean up this one. Snillo and Fraggy combining their might to focus. To uh, Shusha on that D.Va. A lot of low health members for Shanghai. Fraggy, though, the first one who falls. I'm dead, finished off. And there's Poco with the D-Mech onto Shusha. Oh, he can't stop the res. Snillo tried to. Instead of having to recall and get out of that. Meanwhile, the rest of his team, though, Winning the fight for the Philadelphia Fusion. Oh, now they're all pushed back. Payload, Hoko and Boombox with the resurrection so. is there. Shusha is going to be pushed away, but manages to read back barely. And Five King can't keep can't uh, keep people up with that Valkyrie, and that's going to be point B taken by Philadelphia. So they come into point C with just batting people around with that primal rage. Poco adding some damage as well. And meanwhile, the payload moving forward undead. Stop flat. Five Kings brings Roshan back though. But Only not so temporarily. Long. Freefield gets onto the payload with the transcendence to keep Shanghai alive on Route 66. Shusha gets a bit of healing, but not enough. And Boombox with the trance again, just trying to keep his team alive, and they will finish at 2:51 on the clock. That is a blazing fast route. Six. Maybe they have a chance to take point A here, but MG drops, and that is big. Neptuno caught, though, by the self-destruct, but EQO is not done quite yet. 28 health, but it's enough to get kills, and now the rest of Philadelphia Fusion eliminating Shanghai Dragons, and that is going to be about that. Philadelphia Fusion with the biggest spawn camp hold I've seen since, like, Envious versus Mode 7 back in, like, some online tournament two years ago. Well, that was a long time ago. EQO finishes the map 22 limbs, 12 final blows. Go to our website at actionesports.com to stay up to date on the latest matches, highlights, and more from scores, match history, and specific game info. We've got you covered for all things Overwatch Esports. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our channel for more action-packed content. Also, like and share this video, and click the subscribe button to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.